third one. That is music from Pharrell Williams from Despicable Me 2. I'm Kenny. Emily Lene coming up, doing a holiday classic, a standard, one of those songs that's probably part of the Billboard Top 50 Christmas songs of all time. Maybe not Emily's version, maybe the original version, or perhaps the Drifters version. I'm talking about the White Christmas song. I love the Drifters version of White Christmas. Anyway, yes, if you want to just kind of Play some great Christmas tunes, don't care where they come from, or just try to make everybody happy. I recommend the Billboard Top 50 holiday songs of all time through the SXM app. That is a really fun thing to stream growing up, so you might want to check that one out. You can get it through the app and put it on your smart speaker in the kitchen uh, or the living room or whatever. That's just good ambient music that everybody knows and loves. Everything from Pentatonix and Mariah Carey to Frank Sinatra and Bing Crosby. We got it all there. Coming up in a little bit, the Avid Brothers are on the way, Stevie Wonder, and now a voicemail message for our British furry dude with an attitude, Dirk the Fourth and Forgotten Chipmunk. Hi, I'm Anthony from New York, and I'd like it to ask a question to Dirk. Okay. What's your favorite Christmas tradition? Huh. Oh. Bye. Oh, Thanks, Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. That's a wonderful question. Yeah, there are so many. Holiday traditions, not just for Christmas. You know, I do sure. love, you know, I love the thing I love about Hanukkah is the eight days of gifts. I love that yeah, tradition. Right. You know, uh -huh. I also love the, the candle thing. I think mm -hmm. the, 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 the menorah, menorah is beautiful. Yeah. I do love the, the, the principles, the seven principles of Kwanzaa, you know, like, like Emoja, uh -huh. and Nia, and Kumba. That's what I like, Mani. There's so many yeah. great traditions there. But, you know, for those of us that celebrate Christmas, you know, we've got so many things there, don't we? There's a lot going on. It's a very busy, busy holiday. It you know, because you've got your tree, and you've got your, your Christmas dinner, and you've got your wreaths, and your decorations, your lights, and your, your gift giving, and your sure. mistletoe. I think, though, for me, uh -huh. probably my favorite tradition is the, uh, the annual Yule Monk celebration. It's a really... Wait, Yule Monk? Yeah, the Yule Monk. What, 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 what? What's a Yule Monk? You've never, you've never heard of a Yule Monk, Kenny, really? No. I thought, oh, no. oh, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Heard. It's a, every year, you oh, know, um, every uh, organization or household will select one uh, a talking chipmunk, preferably British, uh, uh -huh. to be the Yule Monk. And when you are the Yule Monk, you receive uh, extra gifts. Oh, I see. Yeah? Yeah, wow. yeah extra yeah. gifts. Uh, one extra gift, usually just a few days before the holiday. Uh -huh. And uh, you also receive uh, a, uh, a masseuse. Wait, they hire a masseuse for the... Well, I'm like, okay, month? just a massage, just a massage. But, you know, you do, you get, you get okay. that. There's usually a, and there's a, uh -huh. a wonderful outfit you get. You get a special crown and a badge uh -huh. and your own parking space and a 55% salary increase. It's a fantastic wow. uh, holiday tradition. I love it. I bet. So very... Very much. And this is called a Yule Monk? Yule Monk, monk? yes. Yule, Yule ah. Monk. Yule Monk. Wow. I, mean, I did, You know, I, I had no yeah. idea about this, Dirk. I wonder if we should select a Yule Monk. I, I, mean, I don't want to talk anyone I, into anything. Well, you know, I, I, I don't want to pressure you. But well, I, you know, I don't want to miss a tradition. I, 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 I would, it would make me feel, you know, a bit more what? loved and a bit more like home, you know. Which is, and, you know, who, who doesn't want to be home for the whole day? I guess that's so, yeah, true. I mean, yeah. You know, like, so there's no wow. pressure. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I think it would be great if you selected a Yule Monk. Well, uh, do we just pick one? I mean, I just pick one? Anyone? Yeah, just go right ahead, sure. Uh, okay. Well, then I... You know what? I think we'd have to go with uh, Theodore as Yule Monk. Theodore. Yeah, I think Theodore. I think he deserves it. Theodore. Yeah, don't, don't you're going to do me like that. You don't you're think... Gonna, <laughs> you don't think... He's not even here, okay? <laughs> he's not even part of this far organized fam... <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're not funny. Yeah. You're not funny. Oh, come on. I'm a little bit funny. I mean, let's be honest. You were. Is there really such a thing as a Yule Monk? Well, it depends. It depends on what? Did you buy it? Uh, no. Okay, then I made the whole thing up. It's yes. Okay, it's, it's, all right, fine. That's just... But creativity. Yeah, well, good. you got points for creativity, that's for sure. So, but, so tell us, what really is your favorite Christmas tradition? Oh, I'd have to say coal in the stocking. Oh, really? Which has got your name written all over it, Mr. Curtis. Yeah. Okay, all right? uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> You just wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, thanks, Dad. At least you got some of the throw in the fireplace. Right. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a while. 